All right guys, new video here, and uh, I know the last video we went over all the new parts coming in and plans and stuff like that. So uh, we have a lot more new parts and a lot more stuff we need to make look good and look new again because of the fire kind of destroyed a lot of parts and uh, need to look good with the new engine. So that is in the list for today. And if I get to it, I'll do more of the deep like AccuSump and the fire system stuff later on. But my engine is gonna be here way faster than I thought. So I need to get the accessories ready to go to put on the engine to get the engine in the car first. So with that being said, we can worry about the AccuSump and the fire system later on. I uh, want to get the engine together and in the car first before anything else. I got to make the, all the accessories look good again because they got really grimy and burnt and uh, all the fire spray was all over them so they're just toasted and just trashed and also my oil pans were destroyed from the rod at the block and the rod also windowed the upper oil pan and the lower oil pan so i got new oil pan new upper oil pan and they got them sandblasted and powder coated so they're ready to go on the engine all right so all these parts are on today's agenda uh, i got a lot of parts powder coated a lot of parts blasted to be painted with other kind of paint i want to use um so first off i have the lower oil pan 2JZ OAM lower oil pan. I also have the 2JZ upper oil pan. Um, if you guys didn't know, 2JZ and 1JZ oil pans are interchangeable, they're modular. You can go on a 2J oil pan on 1J or 2J GE on a 2J GTE and, and so on. So stuff like that. But uh, got this all tanked. I didn't get a blast, I had it tanked to get all the crappy oil off that and all the gunk that was on here. So now it's back to just bare uh, aluminum. And uh, usually people just say put it back on, you know, as it is like this, but this looks kind of eh to me still. So I want to paint it with uh, some skillet. Still, it is an awesome resource. I won't say cheap. It's kind of pricey, but it's amazing. The stuff lays on just like powder coat. It's just a very, very good tool that I use with a lot of stuff. Uh, the black paint is amazing. The silver paint is also good, which you guys will see really soon. So we're going to steal it this silver. It will literally look like brand new OEM. I might use some gloss over on top of it, but I want it to look much nicer than this. Even though it's an upper oil pan, no one's going to see it, but I want it to be look nice because it's just me. But I did get the lower oil pan powder coated black because that's easy. My True Focus Fab catch can uh, and cool overflow combo tank got pretty, uh, uh, not melted, but toasted. And the, uh, the black before got all crappy and kind of destroyed from the fire. So I had Scott powder coat it for me, lost black, to make it look nice and brand new. And as well as I got a power steering pump fully powder coated black as well. And I got my intake tube pipe recoated black because that also got burnt up in the fire. Um, as well as my downpipe right here. So if you guys didn't know, so I've been swearing by this stuff. This stuff is literally, I think, $11 at AutoZone and every AutoZone you can find. Uh, it's a DEI high temp silicone coating. It is the shit, literally. The VHT stuff is really shitty. Don't use it. It doesn't work. I don't care what anybody says. It literally will crack off in seconds. So that being said, this downpipe was burnt, oil over it, fire stuff all over it, scratched up, destroyed, looked way worse than this. I sanded it all down, painted it nice, uh, like a flat, glossy kind of satin black, I guess. And now it looks brand new again, but I'm going to re-wrap uh, this with the DEI uh, black heat wrap to make it look nice and uh, brand new with the new heat wrap black and make sure it does its job by keeping the heat away from areas we don't want it. So that is up next again. Big list today, guys. We got a lot of stuff to do tonight. I want to get at least half of it done or, or all of it. A lot of it's easy work, and but tedious. So while we're talking about exhaust, the exhaust manifold is a little old, but it does its job. Um, as you guys know, manifolds are very expensive. And uh, I got this one with the car. It has not done me wrong yet. It's been great. I painted it last time with the VHT stuff, and uh, it did not come out right. It chipped off. It was terrible, and I did not like it at all. So then the fire happened, and then it got destroyed, and just... D done. So I had Scott sandblast this and tank it so it's back to bare metal. And now I can also paint this with the DEI high temp coating. So that is going to be also on the list. Uh, but yeah, there's more. <laughs> so the trace back, we've got the upper oil pan, lower oil pan, catch can, combo tank, power steering, pump pulley, the uh, turbo intake tube, and the exhaust. And that is on the list for now. Oh, and the manifold as well, like I said. The last piece of the puzzle today is a really sick piece that I've always wanted to have in my drift car. And I finally got it, and I found the resource to do it the easiest way possible. Okay, so next on the list is a very important part for the car. And as you guys know before, I do not have a dash in my car. I do not have any display for gauges or anything like that. I have my computer, and uh, that's how I was monitoring things, like I said before. So as you guys know, I did get an ADU5 display, ECU Master ADU5. is a very, very uh, amazing idea for gauges instead of just like typical gauges and stuff like that. 
Uh, it works for your EMU black, so you can you know wire it and pin to each connector so you guys can monitor what you need to monitor. And when you get one of these, you have to mount it somehow. And everybody struggles to do that because A, you have to make one that takes time, or B, you gotta spend a lot of money on a very expensive dash to fit it right and make it look at least decent. But I found the best alternative for that and I'm very excited to show you guys. Okay, well, I can't say I found it. Actually, Freddie and Chris from our FD team, uh, they found this mount for Adam's ADU-7, and I was like, hey, that's a great alternative. That's sick. I want one of those. So, I actually reached out to Daniel from Maxwell Manufacturing, and uh, he sent me the perfect dash mount for any ECU display, really. So, right here we have the Maxwell Manufacturing ADU-5 mount. It's 3D printed, very durable, very strong, very cool looking as well, very simple, and you know, that's all you need with this kind of stuff. So, a lot of people spend a lot of money on these mounts or make them out of metal or stuff like that, and you can do that if you want to do that, but like with me, I just want it simple and easy and ready to go. So, uh, this is the ADU-5 mount. He makes an ADU-7, ADU-5, he also makes uh, AEM stuff, Link stuff, all that kind of stuff. I'll put his link in the description below. He has them on eBay, he has an Instagram, you can go hit him up. Uh, Daniel's a great guy. I talked to him about my, uh, my project and what's going on, and he was super down to help out, and I appreciate him very much. Thank you, Daniel. This thing is sick. I'm gonna mount it in the car. And finally, literally been waiting, not even just for myself or like anything, like I've just always, always wanted a dash, a digital dash in the car, man, right there. It's just one of the things I've always wanted to have and I finally have it. So with this, you have four mounting holes and on the ADU-5, there's four studs and then four nuts. You pretty much just sandwich it together and then you need to clamp the, uh, the mount to the steering column. You can also, talk to Daniel or he has options on his site of uh, steering column size because you have to get a certain size with the clamp properly without cracking the sides and breaking something that would suck. So that is up next, let's go mount this thing. All right, so I've got the stock column right here. I do still have a stock column, sadly. It just works. I'm not going to replace it because, you know, it works. But on the stock column, there's just a little circular part on the column right here you can mount the dash to. Um, it is, I forget what size it is. I'll look it up. But uh, anyway, pretty much you just sandwich it onto this and then it clamps down and you have your dash mount wherever you want it. So before I got mine from his, I measured it out. I wanted to see how high it would sit and then I let him know what I needed and uh, he was down to make that for me. So I put the steering wheel on and I wanted to sit down low and I measured the height I need the dash to be so hopefully it fits good all right so in the car it looks super sick damn that's dope oh, I've always wanted this I'm so freaking excited dude oh my god it looks so cool all right I'm gonna get the screen wheel on now hopefully I can see the gauges where I need to see them so let's see but damn Maxwell manufacturing did an awesome drop this mount and it fits literally perfect and I'm super stoked on it thank you to Daniel again but oh hell yeah all right steering wheel all right, so the display fits literally perfectly. About right here is about my visual standpoint from it. So I can see everything to see, all the gauges, the whole screen, limiter light, all that kind of stuff is exactly what I wanted. So um, I'm stoked. It's exactly what I needed. And uh, now I have a display with a mount mounted in the car. Now we just got to wire it up in a few weeks when the car is done. And uh, we'll have a running dash. But uh, thanks again to Daniel from Maxwell Manufacturing. For hooking up this dash uh, display mount, and uh, I'm very stoked on it. I will put his link below. Uh, go check him out. He's a good guy, and uh, he makes some sick stuff out of 3D printed stuff. So, all right, now that we have the dash in, uh, up next, I did real quick put in the True Focus Fab Combo Tank, the Catch Can and Coolant Overflow, back in its original position. Uh, I got it powder coated gloss black, so it looks nice and brand new. Got some Scotch Bright. I Scotch Bright the top of the silver piece right here. Made it look brand new as well, and now it looks immaculate, and it is perfect and brand new. I also put on my brand new AM lines for the catch can um, to the valve covers. And these are all brand new, same exact routing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, damn, this looks so good. All brand new. That's the whole goal of this whole entire thing is to make everything brand new and absolutely no signs of fire or burnt or crap anywhere. So, oh, one more thing I did do. I got a brand new OEM Z32 uh, Brake Master Reservoir cap. I painted it black because I cannot stand yellow and it looks like shit. So uh, that is on there now. It got really burnt in the fire and I could not, you know, leave that in there because that looks like crap. So we're going to trash that. Um, but yeah, new cap there. And then so as of now, it's all I have left to put in the engine bay until the engine gets back. And then, uh, but real quick, I did go ahead and tape up in, um, the upper oil pan because I taped up right here so nothing can get inside the oil pan. I'm only painting the exterior of the oil pan. So I taped it up, took me a long time, I did not film it, it took me forever. So got it all cut off, 
perfectly right here so it looks nice when it's painted and then on this side you got this side all taped off too so we are going to paint this in silver steel it uh steel it is my like my favorite stuff ever it's a great resource a great go-to for quick uh paint jobs to make them look brand new so steel it is uh weldable it is anti-corrosive and it is polyurethane and it is the coolest stuff ever, honestly. Go try it. It's super sick. It's not a sponsored ad or anything. This is just one of my favorite things to use. My entire interior is covered in steel, it, and it's awesome. Even though I got kind of messed up from the fire, I'm going to repaint some areas, but you can't help with that stuff. But this stuff is awesome, and I'll show you guys right now. God. Dang, that looks good. That is so crazy to have a can. It's literally like powder coat. It's literally powder coat in a can, and it looks so sick. Yeah, it looks so good. All right, let that dry in a second coat, and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. But, man, I'm stoked on that. No more ugly bare aluminum. That's sick. All right, up next for paint is the exhaust manifold, and it is nice, bare, and uh, just metal. Uh, we're going to paint that a nice uh, polyurethane DEI black and get it looking nice and fresh again. Alright, first coat on this side is about done. Now it looks good. Now it looks super sick, black and glossy. It'll probably be more of a satin black when it's done though. But uh, much better than that, you know, toasted freaking ugly ass manifold but now it's back to brand new super stoked on that i let that dry flip her over do the other side and then go back do for more coats but i'll probably do more coats tomorrow because it takes a while to dry all right so up next is going to be wrapping the downpipe now again i painted this in a dei heat uh paint so now we have heat paint that will have a, a wrap downpipe on top so all the heat will be uh controlled in a very good way and then, uh, yeah, so up next, we have to wrap it. And if you guys didn't know, a good trick is to wet the whole wrap so it's damp. That way it doesn't fall off while you're wrapping it. And you can wrap it even tighter while it's wet, and you'll have a tighter fit once it dries. So uh, I can't really film this. I'm going to do one of those YouTube things where you do the, you know, snap, and it's on. But uh, let's get to it. And boom, there it is, all wrapped up, nice and black, DEI heat wrap. I don't care if it's like the goldish wrap too much. I like the brown subtle look, so that's what I went with. And uh, when you wet this stuff, it really helps to get it real tight on the downpipe. And then uh, you clamp it up down here and one up here. So now it's all ready to go to go on the car. And again, my goal is to have every single part ready to go on the car when the engine gets here and the engine is assembled and put into the car. So everything goes smoothly and it just goes right in with no worries and, uh, and as simple as that. So uh, downpipe is wrapped. Probably gonna call it a night here and then tomorrow I'll come back and start doing some other stuff. So, but uh, yeah, I am stoked on the progress tonight. Uh, the upper oil pan is super freaking sick. Damn, dude, that's so good.